The tragic death of actor and model Shefali Jarawala at the age of 42 has sparked concerns about the potential risks of hormone replacement therapy and heart attacks. Shefali was known for her appearances in Big Boss 13 and the music video Ganta Laga. Forgive me for I'm not based in India, I'm a UK based doctor specialising in women's health but I've had so many South Asian women, Indian, Pakistani, Bengali, Sri Lankan contact me about this newspaper report because according to the reports Shefali received an anti-aging injection containing glutathione and vitamin C on an empty stomach, which may have led to the sudden drop in blood pressure resulting in a cardiac arrest and her tragic death. But it's this comment from a leading cardiologist that has left lots of South Asian women confused and worried about taking hormone replacement therapy. A cardiologist has said a major cause of risk of heart attacks are steroids, lack of sleep and hormone replacement therapy that women take for menopausal symptoms and therefore especially women are at risk of having heart attacks. The cardiologist in question goes on to make quite unsavoury remarks saying Anyone, whether a celebrity or a common man, if they do not follow rules of the body, they will have problems. In celebrities, in this case, a female celebrity who sadly passed away, they will try to maintain their body for fit appearances. Now, that's neither here nor there. I, that, for me, as a South Asian woman, know that that is deep rooted in misogyny but i will forgive him for this because things can be misinterpreted in the papers or misquoted in the papers so let's get down to it let's look at the data of hormone replacement therapy and the risk of having a heart attack does hrt cause heart attacks or cardiovascular disease in this sad case a young woman who was 42 years old no, hormone replacement therapy does not generally cause heart attacks in young women. In fact, for some younger women, particularly those close to menopause, so in the perimenopausal phase, HRT may offer some cardioprotective benefits. This is from the British Menopause Society that says transdermal administration of estradiol is unlikely to increase the risk of venous thrombosis or stroke above that in non-users and is associated with a lower risk compared with oral administration of estradiol. So early studies on HRT and cardiovascular disease did have some conflicting results. Some suggested a slight increase while others indicated potential benefits. We saw the slight increase in the oral synthetic version of estradiol or estrogen tablets. We now have mountains of data, peer-reviewed meta-analysis and also the International Menopause Society that shows that women with pre-existing heart conditions or risk factors like obesity, high blood pressure or high cholesterol may still consider HRT and can take it safely and the risk benefits needs to be discussed with each individual patient. Even the latest update about premature ovarian insufficiency in April 2025 shows that women who experience early menopausal symptoms known as primary ovarian insufficiency should be advised to take HRT for longer duration, not just for symptom control, but for actually other health benefits and prevention of cardiovascular disease to so protect them against heart attacks in the future, as well as protect their brain health, their bone health, their all whole well-being and even some autoimmune conditions in the future. Unfortunately, outdated information which is being passed around in South Asian newspapers and also in South Asian communities means that women are becoming really fearful, particularly those that can really benefit from early intervention with hormone replacement therapy if they have primary ovarian insufficiency, surgical menopause and chemical menopause. For marginalised communities who look at information from back home, I know in my family I'm always looking at information in Pakistan, my mum and dad are glued to Pakistani TV, then it's really important that we counteract misinformation or old information which is being regurgitated through doctors who are still hanging on to the old data and fear-mongering women. Hormone replacement therapy is not a one size fits all and it's really important that the decision to use HRT should be made on an individual basis considering the woman's specific risk factors, symptoms and overall health. Please don't keep passing misinformation around. The only thing I can say with this tragic loss, my deepest condolences to the family of Shefali and her friends.